then you're going to reach your arm, uh, your, your leg up to the ceiling. Your arms will be beside you. <laughs> so as this leg is up in the air, you want to kind of reach with your big toe and make your leg reach as far to the ceiling as you can. You're still pulling on that strap. And you're kind of trying to squeeze your legs toward each other, even though they're apart, essentially. Your stomach is pulling in a little deeper as you reach that leg up to the ceiling. And then you're just going to draw a circle with your big toe. And that circle is going to be about as wide as the frame of your body. So you're going to go to the opposite shoulder, around, and back to the center and hold. Pull your stomach in. And when the leg goes across, you can kind of feel like your legs are squeezing together a little bit, around and up. Three, around, up. Four, around, up. One more time. Five, around, up. Hold it there. Pull your stomach in deeper. Reach your leg up a little higher. Now we're going to reverse. Down, cross, up. Again, you're still trying to squeeze your legs together as they go across. You might feel the inner thigh muscle work. Yay. Two more. And last one. And then after that, you can bring your leg back in again. And the reason you're holding your leg like this is going to come into play for another exercise as well. Um, you can hold it the other way, but it's really not going to be the same. It's going to kind of bring your leg out to the side and kind of do things with your hip. And you want to keep all of these joints in line with each other. And that way you're getting more of a stretch of your back. You're not sort of stretching your hip and things like that. So let's do the other side. Right foot under the strap. Left hand will be below or the right hand or on your ankle if you can. Pull your stomach away from your leg. And then extend your leg up to the ceiling. 